Hello, in this video, I'm going to show you how to create metals in 3ds Max, Corona for 3ds Max. So to begin, I am just going to start by using Corona Legacy material, just bringing out this material. We're going to be using this table, all right? This table for our little experiment. So I'm going to select this part of this table. Okay, you know what? Let me just stop this. Making sure the table is selected, I'm going to isolate it. Okay. I'll select it like so. Let's divide this table in into two. Okay. Everything has been selected now. So I'm going to detach it. That's the purpose of our tutorial. So I'm going to select this so I can easily apply material to this now. I'm going to bring everything back. And I'm going to start with ordinary chrome material, just the basic, okay? Just the basic. So after that, we're going to create a black. Let me just leave this one. Let's start with the chrome. So the first thing I want to do is come over to the fuse and put zero there. Okay, that will make everything zero, okay? Then the reflection, I'm going to make it one. Okay, you can see now we are having, you know, some sort of, I don't even know, glassy stuff or black metal, if you would. But then, because what we want to create is not a glass or water. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to reduce this into 0.8. Okay, anywhere between 0.8 to 0.9. Okay, but not 1. Okay, so I'm going to make this 0.85 in between. Okay, so for the first now, IOR, I'm going to make this now around 99. When you do that, immediately you're going to get something like this. This is like a chrome. Okay, so I'm going to, it's already selected and I'm going to apply this to it. Let's do interactive render and see what we have. Okay, so I'm going to click on this. All right. So we really understand what it is that we are doing here. I want to do power zoom. Okay, so I'm just going to come over here, click on this plus button here. Then click on 2D power zoom. I'll just go closer to this. Okay, that will bring us very close to it over here, as you can see. Okay, so I'm going to go in even closer, so we can appreciate it even more. Okay. You can see the chrome material, chromium over there. Now, if I want to take this, you know, a bit further, okay, this is looking like a metal, as you can see in, in here, okay, if I want to take this a bit further, I'm going to bring in a map, okay, check the description, I'm going to make this map available for you in the description, so I'm going to take this and I'm going to apply it to reflective gloss, okay, when I apply that, you see what it did to it, okay, all right, so I'm just going to select this map I just brought in, go down here, Okay, I'm going to enable color map and I'm going to raise this up, like raise it up like so and bring this down a bit. Okay. Just like that. Let me see. All right, so I'm going to keep raising this one up. All right, that is going to reduce it a little bit, but then I will select this material. Okay, just like that. Select this material. Now I'll come down here in the gloss map, I'll, I'll reduce it to like 50, all right, or 75, let's see how that looks, okay, now you have yourself a metal, the more reflective you want this to be, or the more glossy, the more reflective, reflection is the right word, okay, the more reflective you want it to be, I think you should come over here and reduce it further. Like if I make it, you know, 50, it's going to be reflective. If I make it 45, that's going to give us more reflection. Okay. So yeah. Um, now let's say I want to take this even a bit further even. So I'll right click here and then I'll go to change material type. Okay. When I do that, you're going to see Corona, under Corona, you're going to see Corona layered material. Select that and keep old material as sub-material, okay? 
So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to select this material and then I'm going to duplicate it. And now I'm going to apply it to layer one. Okay. There's no difference between these two materials, so you will not notice. So I'll just select this one now, go over here, put this as zero. Now I'll have a very reflective warp over here. And then come up here in anisotropy and then add 0 0.3 here. Okay. Now that is going to make the 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 glossiness of this stuff to be vertical okay as you can see when i did that to see what it did all right okay so i can also come over here and reduce this a little bit if i want or i can just leave it if that is giving you what you want all right so that's how i create my method now if i want to quickly change the color of this to get like gold or all those other stuff, all those other colors. It's not, when you open this material, you don't go to diffuse. Remember we made diffuse zero. So if you are changing the color there, it's not going to affect anything. When you want to change colors in metal, all you need to do is change the reflective color. It is going to affect it. Okay, so if I come over here and I select this and I come down here, okay, I click on this. And this color map comes out. Okay, let's say I want to have like a gold material here. Just come over here, okay, in the red type 255. All right, in the green type 198. And then in the red, in the blue, I mean, you can now type in 76. Okay, and then hit OK. Now, all I have to do is copy this color, come over here and paste it. All right. And I'll just apply this material over there. And when I do that, you're going to see a gold color. All right. Yeah. Okay. Well, now, when you're working and um, you are trying to figure out what color this material is going to be, you can either like open your browser and search for rose gold image like this. I'm going to show you how you're going to be using it. Search for, let's say I want to create rose gold now. I'll search for rose gold image like this, or I can just say rose gold RGB color code. Okay. It is going to bring it out for you. You're going to see this one. You're going to see a lot of them. So when you open this, Okay, it's going to open it up for this like for you like this. Okay, you can see the RGB code here. Now you all you have to do is simply open your 3ds Max. Okay, duplicate a material. Let's say I duplicate this material. Okay, duplicate a material like this. Now you open here. Click on this. Open back your um browser. And you see the rose gold 183 110 121. Okay, 183 110. Then here 121. Okay, so you say okay, and then open here, copy this, and paste it. Now you have your rose gold material. Now let's say uh, you, now you're gonna apply it here and to come out. Now let's say you don't, the, the, you saw what you wanted. Okay, you saw what you wanted, like in this situation, let's say uh, what I had before. You saw like something like this. You saw what you wanted. And you wanted this type of rose gold, this shade of rose gold, but there is no RGB code for it. And this is exactly what you want. You can just download this image, okay? Same image as an image will be downloaded into your browser. Okay, I've downloaded this image before, so I don't need to download it again. Now, when you open your 3ds Max back like so, when you open it back like so, you can now bring it in and then pick that material. Okay. So how do I do that? So I just have to open the, the location and then drag it in. Okay. Let me just show you how I'm doing this. Just set it like this and then drag it into this place. Okay. When I do that, you can see the image in here. Okay, you can see all the colors showing. If it is not showing enough for you, you can view it, but there's no need for that. You can update, sorry. You can open preview window, which you can now make way bigger than what we are having here. I am going to see we are having 
a whole lot of color showing here. So what I can now do is, well, you don't need to do this. What I can now do is, let me show you why you don't need to do it. Is use this, pick this color from here, or you can use this and pick this color from here. It doesn't really matter, okay? You can pick color from anywhere, even from here, you can pick color from there, okay? So it is basically the same thing, but if you if there's a particular color you want to pick, you can make this bigger so you can get that color. So I can now say, okay, close this, right click, and then copy this, okay? You always have to put it in the other part and then paste it. Okay, now you have the rose gold, which you can now apply here, and then let me apply this one. Okay, apply it and then start your interactive render to see. And then start your interactive render to see what it is we're having at the moment. All right, so and so on. Now, if you want to create another material, like a different color of material, let's say you want to create like uh, a black, a black. Okay, you want to create a black aluminum, you can just come in here, just, you know, bring this down to white, come over here, put this in the middle. Let me just start by putting it. Okay, it's a little bit dark like this. Okay. Now copy this same color. Come down in here. I just paste it. Okay. When I do that, as you can see, we have you know, dark gray aluminum metal, okay? So depending on where the the object you are texturing is, that will determine, okay, the type of light that is hitting it, that will determine the level of reflection you're going to see. This is a highly reflective metal that we have here. Or may not know that because of, you know, the location where this table is, but it is very reflective. So if you want to reduce the reflection, you can just come over here and reduce it, or you can increase it, okay? In that you have you know a more reflective but you need the material to look like metal okay in every situation where it finds itself all right so just like that you can just go to your web browser and search you know for rgb of colors if you want to do copper let's say i want to do copper now i'll just duplicate this gold that we're having here and just duplicate the gold like that remember whenever i want to change the color the difference between these these you know metals are their color so you can just do 225 for the red, then 111 for the green, and then for the blue, you can now put in 76. And then say, okay, now I'll just go over here, copy this, come down here, and then paste it. Then when I apply this to, when I apply this to that, you're going to see, you know, a different, you know, this is a copper material, all right? All in the color. Okay, so you browse it, you get it, and you impute it in here. So it is very simple. Just set your diffuse. Let's recap. Okay, let me go to this material. Just set your diffuse to zero, set your reflection to one, and then your glossiness between 0 0.9 and 0 0.8. And then your first IOR, IO you can set this to 999. Or even if I change this to like 30, okay, it's still not going on, but the bot 999. Is the best just keep it there then for the anisotropy you can come over here and set this to 0 0.3 okay that is going to make your reflection you know in a straight line where you have you know light it is going to make it in a straight line okay so that's basically it that's how you create metal like i said with this you can get any type of metal you want all you have to do is change the color all right so subscribe if you haven't done so and ring the notification bell so you don't miss any of my future tutorial when i drop them i drop insight two videos like this twice or more every week okay so thank you very much for watching this video i'll see you in the next one